Look at this craziness and foolishness. Someone left, like this is the type of stuff that happens at Walmart, I feel like. Like you have your frappuccino that's supposed to be fridge, like it's still like half cold. And your um, strawberries in the socks section. Really good job, really good job. People that shop at Walmart and employees of Walmart for letting this type of waste happen in the United States. Guys, I forgot my vlog camera at home, but I realized like I kind of wanted you here. I apologize. It's on the iPhone <clears throat> for the course of the time that I'm out here, but I'm about to get a chocolate croissant or a croissant of some sort from this place called Vita France. Super excited because I haven't eaten anything and I want to have something in my system before the gym. So that's why I'm doing that. But look at this stuff. Hello. I really want to chop the croissant, but that would be bad. So something like less bad would be like this chicken Italia or sausage. I don't know, one of these like croissants. I want a croissant though. Guys, I got my croissant thing. Um, it's ham, it's turkey and cheese. And I was like, I can't have a croissant. Like, it's like a, it's like a, insult to the French people if I have a croissant without some coffee. I don't know, like, I mean, I need it for the gym, so this is all for the gym, doing it for the gym, doing it for the body. Hmm. Coffee bean, I won't do. Hello. Um, could I get a small iced americano yeah. guys you know what i know something funny lost my wallet again i think i left it at home though but that orange wallet is literally the most unluckiest wallet in the world i use it all the time i'm seriously like tempted to go buy a wallet because i'm so well first of all i need to verify that i like have my stuff and then i think i'm gonna buy a wallet like and throw that orange one will actually like go together and burn the thing together like literally I'll drive with you guys I want to make sure I'm recording I draw I'll drive with you guys we'll go to like some mountainous region we'll take that orange wallet and we'll throw it and burn it because that thing has been the most difficult thing I can't I've, I think I've lost it like six times and I just got it like in September I presented that stupid wallet in my what I got for my birthday video on the main channel and it decided to be unlucky but once I find it we're gonna go together and we're gonna dump it somewhere oh my goodness I don't know what to say they threw me a party look at this I'm speechless South Coast Plaza thank you so much for throwing me this soiree um, where's my trophy where's my Oscar Vlogging with my phone is actually a little bit easier. Like, I'm not gonna do it, but people just think I'm FaceTiming. So, um, it's not that bad. But then they'll be like, wait, why is this guy FaceTiming like with the phone backwards? So I guess that's weird. But you guys might be asking, what am I doing here? Well, my friends, I have had a change of heart. I woke up this morning and I looked at that backpack that I bought and I was like I don't like clamshell backpacks I don't know why I'm just like super weird guys I'm gonna keep it real though I'm not gonna like hide this but <clears throat> yeah I just like in the moment sometimes I here. this croissant is delicious by the way the moment I might like something but deep down in my heart I knew when I was buying that bag I'm like it's clamshell it's clamshell and if you guys don't know what clamshell is is when the backpack like doesn't have zippers to close it has like that flap and buckles down 
it's nice but I get really tired I wanted the whole point of the backpack was to get something that's like really minimalistic really just like good quality leather and I ended up buying this like suede like clamshell thing so um, yeah I returned it backpacks gone I know a lot of you guys liked it a lot of you guys were saying it's really expensive and I mean the money wasn't the issue really it was like mostly the design like I would rather pay $600 for something that's like really minimal and timeless and I can use it again and again but yeah Guys, that backpack that I put there was like the Balenciaga backpack and that thing was a thousand like something but it was so beautiful. It was canvas though and then I forgot to record it but the lady brought out this black version. Look it up. Look at the look, Go to Balenciaga.com and check out their backpacks. There's one that's like exactly like the style it kind of looks like the Saint Laurent Paris one but it's so beautiful it has like a heavy uh, leather wrapped handle like with heavy stitching is so beautiful but that one's like a 1300 so um obviously i'm not about that life a thousand three hundred i would just like go by saint laurent but if someone like wanted to not like go with the trend because everyone's like wearing saint laurent right now then i would suggest to get this balenciaga it's really good zara let's see if aldo is here this time always come here when he's not here say what's up to Aldo but I doubt that he's here right now because whenever I come I never see Aldo I see all the other employees but I never come on a day when Aldo's here here I was right hey guys so Zara has some like interesting options there's one that's like I kind of I don't know like I like it it's like future it's like a space suit kind of like futuristic but like will I commit to this backpack or will I get sick of it within like two hours and then there's like this reptile one that literally looks like I'll be like a lizard and it has like these like lizard things so I don't know, I kind of like it. The leather is really soft. It's a really comfortable backpack, but it's a little bit big. This is what it looks like on. I like this like structure it gives. I don't know though, like the reptile design might throw me off a little bit. Okay, so I ended up finding two that I really like. This one is so cool. It's not exactly black, like I would be obsessed with it if it was black, but it's a really dark blue. It's all like this like velvetish material, it's really kind of different, so I kind of like it. But then I really like this one, this reminds me of like Dior for some reason. Like the structure of it is very like Dior-esque. So I kind of want to take one backpack that I had and make it into two, like a brown, more structured one and a more like casual one. Because, I don't know, like, I guess I can't commit to one backpack, maybe two. I'll have like a three-way or whatever. So just doing some final checkups in here. Here is some shoes. To be honest, I'm a little bit weirded out because I feel like some of you guys are here and you're shy to talk to me and then I don't know if I'm being paranoid if you're actually here or not, but like there's been a couple of you like following me around the store I don't know if it's just like me being paranoid if you want to talk to me but please talk to me because I'm too like shy I guess to approach you guys don't think that it's like you guys should be shy I'm the one that's kind of like shy at first but anyways if you guys show up then you show up maybe I'm just being paranoid guys look how cool this hoodie is it's like so exaggerated with the arm oh, this iPhone camera sucks but so cool it's like this is one sleeve right here guys I'm like obsessed with this jacket I think I've worn it a lot but I just love how this looks but I love the fact that it's like reversible it's uh, $99 I just wish that like the lines like that are here 
would have continued on the black version. So that's what's kind of like throwing it off for me. It's just too plain. Guys, people are probably gonna think I'm so weird because I bought buying two backpacks, but I honestly like I think I need both of them. Okay guys, I purchased the bags. I think I came out with a deal, one bag for two. I think I'm like a two bag kind of person right now. But heading to the gym now. I'm really excited about these bags. I don't know if I should do a main channel video about them because you guys will probably be sick about me like I don't know. I kind of feel foolish for posting the coach backpack. I should have like it's like those people that get into relationships and like change their Facebook status way too early. <laughs> I think I like made the video way too early and you guys thought I was committed to the coach bag and now I'm committed to two mistresses. I mean this is super weird, like bags aren't supposed to, I don't know, okay, I'm, just, I'm just gonna go to the gym guys. You know when people say that phrase like breaking your necks, this guy was wearing the Louis Vuitton metallic like high tops, the silver ones, and I literally like his outfit was so on point, it was like just athletic wear, but then he like made it cool with the Louis Vuitton metallic high tops, really good. Now my battery on my phone is about to die, so this like phrase might get out, but you might be wondering why I bought two backpacks because they're so different. One is like velvet and a little bit more like edgy. So that's when I'm feeling a little bit like, let's wear some velvet. But it's also black, so it's like when I'm wearing just like neutral colors, it would be a nice thing. And then I got the brown one because it's a little more sophisticated. If my outfit's a little bit kind of like shabby, like I would wear the, I wouldn't wear the velvet one with what I'm wearing right now. I would wear the brown one because the colors would go so it's good to have like a brown and black bag in my opinion not a big fan Kiehl's I love this brand I've never been to like the store I've always bought Kiehl's from like the department store but literally Kiehl's hit me up I'll be your sponsor and I'll like because I love your products like please <laughs> that would be the big biggest like like who am I though who's Kiehl's why would Kiehl's like contact the Nimes? just a little old Nimes in a little old world where I wish I was a Kiehl's sales rep not sales rep but like brand ambassador or what we, how cool would it be if i had my own like memes featuring or keels featuring memes x memes or whatever skincare line at keels keels come on ceos as you guys know i'm a big like aficionado for men's cologne well all cologne really but um one tip i have is if you're like going to the mall to buy cologne or whatever Park your car at a department store entrance and then go to the cologne counter, spray the, like, the ones you want and then do the rest of your shopping that day, have lunch, whatever. And when you're leaving, as you're leaving, going to the department store, smell your arm and see if you still like the smell, if it's still there, if you're still in love with it. And then as you're leaving, you can purchase your cologne. This way you did your memes proof test because sometimes we put it on and then we're like, what the heck? Or it's like, I never buy cologne right off the bat like as an impulse purchase i'm an impulse shopper but for cologne i need to see how it reacts with my body how it's gonna last sometimes cologne smells so good but i've bought so many before that when i smell it on me it smells like i'm a skunk or whatever so another thing i need to fill you guys in on i actually left south coast plaza i'm gonna go to pakistan really quickly because another thing that i'm doing is i need a black hat like a dad hat style because I looked at all my hats, well, the reason why I'm wearing hats is because I'm trying to grow out my hair again and once you go like bald, not bald, but once you like shave your head, growing it out is really difficult because you have awkward stages. I'm going to be looking like a porcupine for like a few months and I don't want to do that. I'll be like sh tapering the sides and whatever and cleaning it up as it's growing, but I need like hats to kind of like get me through sometimes when I don't have time to shave it or I'm just like want to hide my head so i was in there like looking at the black hat looking at my hat let me see if you guys can see me i don't know if you guys can see me okay so shine bright like a diamond we have light now but i was hopefully this is working where are you guys you're here that's why you always have to have charge in your vlog camera but anyways i was there looking at the black hat looking at my hat my hat is from walmart and i paid three dollars for it that hat was $20. I looked at the stitching. I looked at everything. I looked at the tags. It's literally the same hat, guys. Like, quality-wise, 
stitch wise why is at pax on 20 and at walmart three dollars so guess where i'm going right now guys i bet you we're gonna find the same hats and things for much cheaper here Guys, I have to make sure that my brand is like Neems does not get associated with Walmart. Just to make it clear, like no offense to Walmart or anyone that likes Walmart, but I don't like Walmart at all. This is the only warm Walmart. Like I don't even like saying the name. This is the only Walmart Walmart that I like. That's like close to me in Irvine. This is the only one. The other ones, like the, even this one, I hate. Like look at it. It feels like I'm in a storehouse. Like Target feels like such a nice experience, but. I'm here because, although it's not a good experience, sometimes it's like better deals than Target on little things like this. Found it. $3.44 as opposed to $20. Exact same hat, guys. Actually, I feel like this one is like, it doesn't have the silver buckle, but really who cares? It's gonna be on the back of my head. No one cares if I have a silver buckle. Look at this craziness and foolishness someone left like this is the type of stuff that happens at walmart i feel like like you have your frappuccino that's supposed to be fridge like it's still like half gold and your um strawberries in the socks section really good job really good job people that shop at walmart and employees of walmart for letting this type of waste happen in the united states but i'm looking for a mirror and that's another thing that walmart doesn't seem to believe in mirrors what do you I've been seriously searching for like five minutes for one single mirror. You would think that would be like common courtesy in the clothing section. Or is that like too much to ask for for one little mirror? Is it because it's like the men's section? Let me go to the women's section and see. See these types of things. I'm sorry. I'm just like I've never liked Walmart because I was always... Actually I'm lying because I liked Walmart when they were cool. And what period was that when they actually had McDonald's in it? Like now they have Subway, like what is that? Like seriously, you're gonna bring Subway into Walmart? Like no offense to anyone that likes Subway, but I don't like Subway either. It's just like so generic now and the bread like freaks me out that it's made out of like shoe soles or whatever. Is there any mirrors? Do you have any mirrors? In that corner. Oh, that corner, thank you. Okay, so I guess in this corner, one mirror, wow. Okay, so I kind of like this hat. It's not a dad cap, but it's like a structured one. I feel like this is the perfect kind of like um, hat for me. What do you guys think? Three dollars. I'm gonna get it, it's just a normal basic like black hat. These are the types of like music that you hear at I feel like Target doesn't play music and I like it so much. Like does Target play music? No. The only music that plays is like it's in the electronic section, but that's just like <sighs> This vlog will be titled Target Hates. I mean Target vs Walmart. Now this isn't the women's section, you guys are probably gonna make fun of me, but I kinda like it. Oh no, it's sparkly. So in order to try on this hat and see how it looks like, I have to walk like 300 feet back to the one mirror that Walmart has for its entire clothing section of women and men. Back to this lovely thing. I think Wal- what is this place called? Walmart is good for though is these like basic stuff that they have. And since we have this like oversized trend, like these things are always like they come in 3XL, 4XL, like 4XL. Wow. This is how this fits. I think I'm gonna get it. I don't know if you guys can see the silhouette that I'm going for, but it's just gonna be a tad bit cropped from this. But like that same like boxy oversized fit. And I'm wearing a shirt underneath it, so it's not like, but this is kind of like, it's a boxy shirt. Guys, I literally just met the weirdest people. Like, I don't know why they even talk to me, but they're like, hey bro. Like, we got, there, were, there were two individuals that were sitting in one of those, like, you know those disabled carts? You know the shopping carts that are powered and then you can, you're like, when you're disabled, you have to use it to shop? Or maybe you're elderly and you need to use it, but like, help you shop. 
I think there's, okay, this is the person that's actually is coming behind me. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I was just like walking around and then they come up to me and say like, hey, um, you know, like we don't need, really need these. We're just like using them to like, because we're lazy and we don't want to walk. I was like, what the heck? Like you don't have any injuries or anything? And like... I don't know, there's some weirdos out there. Like, what if, like, some old lady needed to use that and you, people, decided to just use it because you're lazy? Walk around! So for less than... nine dollars, I managed to... get two pieces that I would get at PacSun, like, literally the same exact quality and everything for, like, forty dollars. Guys, what's going on over here? They're like attaching these LED like strips to their car. Like why? Isn't that gonna like fall off? And then someone's putting oil in their car. I guess they just bought it from Walmart and they needed it, but did you really need to put it like right now? <laughs> I don't know, like what's going on? It's like a little mechanics shop in Target or Walmart. You guys, I'm really feeling my gym outfit right now, like Adidas everything. These are like one of my favorite Ultra uh, Boost, the gray wool ones. These are like, I can't find these anymore in store, like anywhere. I'm really happy that I got these. And um, I love these Tyro 13 shorts. These are like great for working out. Just a white t shirt. I'm gonna do back today actually, and then Adidas Originals black hat. Getting my hat game on, guys, because you know, I'm going on my hair. Guys, can you please take a look and see what's going on in my room right now? Like, this is like closet upheaval central. I have a bunch of clothes out in the open here. I have the orders that I'm getting ready to ship because that auction that I put with the clothes is ending soon. As I'm going, I'm finding new pieces, so I keep updating the site. So again, I wanted to apologize that this vlog is mostly recorded on my iPhone. I hope it's not too, too bad, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I just wanted to apologize for that. So, I don't know if you guys remember. Do you guys ever, did you guys ever get these? Like the packs that comes with multiple cereals so you don't have to like... See, this is like me. First, I can't commit to one backpack. Now I can't commit to one cereal. But basically it's these like packs that have different cereals in them. This one has Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast, Cocoa Puffs, Cheerios, Trix. And I think I'm in the mood for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My lactose intolerance apparently like suddenly at age 27 decided to kick in but I got some organic lactose free milk. Organic milk tastes so much better guys. It's not just like oh I'm organic. I'm fancy seriously try it out. It tastes like So different from regular milk. It's so much richer and sweeter and nicer And you don't have to get lactose free, but if you have problems when you get milk have milk get lactose free So yeah, I don't know if you guys know Raven Simone, but she's like says the weirdest like most uneducated educated stuff and then there's like another one or like Kelly Osborne, this girl, let me see, this girl, <laughs> she says like Donald Trump, if you um, like tell the Mexicans to leave, who's going to clean your toilets? And it just gets like so awkward because that's such like a racist, like ignorant thing to say. And then she like gets caught in it and it's like, it's so funny. You guys need to check it out. It's really hilarious.